Yeah, I thought uh, winning the toss would have given us a, we got a top edge, um, we had a top edge winning the toss, then thinking the wicket is going to, it's, it's good to bat on the wicket, but we just didn't get it right while batting. Yeah, they got a bit of spin and a bit of turn, but because the ball was kind of slower and the ball a lot of slider, so it was tough to, to take out and not be able to fashion out the kind of um, the proper shot to play to it and played a lot of parts in it. So we fell for it and we couldn't even get over 100 because we feel um, against the man we could get a lot more runs, and, but it didn't work. We have to go back home after this and work on our power eating and make sure we are more disciplined and be more confident going for the shots rather than being a lot more in our shell and trying to play the orthodox way because if we look around the way we bats a lot more of um, ODI and right now it's the T20 level and higher stage up on like where we qualified from. It's a lot more higher stage where you see balls flying around and people smashing your best balls around. So these are things I feel we need to go back home and work on. And I feel our bowling can be a lot more disciplined than we will if we, we are able to connect with those that we have, especially the cricketers outside the country that lives in those test playing countries. And if we're able to to go to those places and learn more, then I'm sure it will it will increase the chances of Nigeria playing, participating and competing well in this at this level.